There are two parallel metal plates here attached to an outside voltage source. We have a negative charge on the left plate and a positive charge on the right plate. And there's a proton that's been released at 36,000 meters per second uh, going against the electric field. Electric field would be going in this direction here. And we don't know its value yet. We will need to know the distance between the plates. And that's 12.4 millimeters. The first job is to find what's called the stopping potential. And uh, we know that the proton is going to go this way. And let's assume that just before it gets to the other side, it comes to a complete stop. So the stopping potential would be the voltage that's across the plates here. We use the conservation of energy. We know that the proton will start with kinetic energy. And it will end in all electric potential energy just before it gets to the right side there and comes to a complete stop. So then we know that kinetic energy is one half mass times velocity squared. So one half the mass of a proton, 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 and multiply by 36,000 squared. This is then going to equal the electric potential energy. And we're going to use the equation electric potential energy equals charge times volts since we need the stopping voltage. So then we'll say 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 and multiplied by volts. And the voltage in this case is going to equal 6.8 volts rounded to two significant digits. And I wonder if we want to know the value of the uh, electric field here. And we know it's going to the west because it always goes from positive to negative. So then I can use the equation volts is equal to E times D. So I know I've got 6.8 volts equals electric field multiplied by the distance between the plates. In this case, it would be 0 0.0124 because we have to convert the millimeters into meters. And we get electric field equal to 548 newtons per coulomb. 